everyone, and welcome, welcome back to, to me. My name is Thomas. My brother Dodger. This is your first time joining us. Welcome. This is my first time joining us. Welcome back. Woo! One breath. Episode Again. thirty-one. Impressive. Today is Visor Friday. I have my visor. Well, no, on. it's really Visor Vest Friday. Dodge has got his vest on. Welcome back to episode thirty-one of Two to Beat. If you missed any of the previous episodes, go check us out on the YouTube channel Exeter Thurbers. If you're here right now, stay and have a great time. That is right. That's what they say. That is right. So let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. The moment you've all been waiting for. The riddle. The riddle. Yesterday's riddle, yesterday's riddle for today. For today. Was, was there's an English there word. There's an English word. Stop. Okay. And you take away 80% of the letters and it retains the same pronunciation. What is the word? So. The traditionally. I, I mean, you can talk. Oh, I more. usually do this. No, part. it's okay. I usually, no, you should do this. No, yeah, you do it. You do it. I'll wait. The traditionally correct answer we were looking for was the word Q. As in, like, a line, a Q. Uh, Q-U-E-U-E. -U -U -E. And if you remove the U-E-U-E, -U -E, which is four of the five letters, 80%, 80%, you are left with the letter Q, which is the, the same, same as the word Q. Q, Q, yeah. Q, Q. So yeah. congratulations to Hansi, Antar, Anna, and Bona for guessing Q correctly. We got a couple of other answers. Antar said B, B-E-E. -E. Wasn't actually sure about that one, because... That's three letters, so you can't exactly get rid of 80% of them, but it's okay, though. 60%, the, you could try, I mean, that's six eighths You'd be of left the with way. part of the B, or the B, 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 B. Uh, Antar also said I, which is one letter, and you can't take away 80% of one letter, which means you'd be stuck again with the letter I, so technically that's correct, except I is a diphthong, meaning that there are, there are multiple sounds happening, I, so if you got rid of 80%, the you'd, diphthong. you'd just be left with I. Or E, Sa which isn't exactly the same as I. Sa was a diphthong. <laughs> Charlie and Antar also said A. Again, that's one letter, so you can't get rid of 80% of it. So technically that's correct, except for the fact that it's a diphthong. So A, you'd either be stuck with E or A. Diphthong. But hey, nonetheless, we did awesome. say we'd give a prize to the winner of the most witty out-of-the-box answer. And the only witty out-of-the-box answers we got were from Charlie and Antar. So congratulations, Charlie. Congratulations, Antar. You get to request a song for tomorrow, or maybe not a future episode. A future episode. In the near, in the near future, the near coming future. to theaters near you. Drop it in the comments, or DM me or Sava on Instagram. DM me. Don't DM Sava. Slip and slide gotcha. into my DMs. You called me Sava. I know. Just let us know. Confusion. We'll get on it. There's no song you can request that we can't play, probably. And also, if you're on Facebook, comment down below. Sweet. So, yes. that's awesome. Stay tuned to uh, after a little bit in this show. That was a nice sentence. And we'll tell you what the riddle is for tomorrow. Um, but. Our first piece of music. Our first piece of music. We've played a couple of Bart Talks in a the fav past. A favorite on the show. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Bela Bart Talk. We talked about him. Worked a little bit in Boston. Strong connection to the Boston Symphony. We also talked about him. His, his work traveling around much of Eastern Europe. Listening to folk tunes. Mm -hmm. And putting them down on paper. Um, first guy to do that. Uh, well, no, one of them. One of them. He was one of the first. One of the people did it all the time. But you know, his his were very popular, and uh, he wrote forty four of them into violin duos. And this is number fourteen of those forty four, also known as the pillow dance. Not sure pillow why. Dance. Not to be confused with pillow talk. Oh, oh, we, we got we got a little we got a little chatter from the what was that the, the, the management the committee? Oh, the management yeah. committee. It's okay. It happens sometimes. Oh, I gotta get a little bit of radio this interference. Is, this vest. Mm -hmm. It's strange playing with a visor. I can't tilt my head back or else it would... I'm waiting to you start on this one. Huh? made me think of a pillow honestly yeah yeah me too speaking of which 
Okay. Solve his tough question of the day. Oh my goodness. Also hey, notice, go back to the time when I used this pillow to sleep through your tough question of the day because it took too much explaining. Sava's tough question of the day, also known as Sava's trivia question of the day, S-C-Q-O-T-D, or squat for short. It's a lot of words with this time repeat. Yesterday's squat for today, squat, squat, was which retail store has the highest profit per square foot in 2017? Had in 2017, because it's no longer 2017, I hope. Probably. The answer, well, hang on, some answers we got no, were from our friend Dr. Melanowski. Who said Tesla? Good, a good choice. A good choice. Joya said Walmart. Also, also reasonable. Yeah. K said Apple. Very smart. Very reasonable. Heike said the pocket. The pocket. The pocket. The, wait, where is it? Oh shoot! It's, oh my it's goodness! It's on my desk upstairs. It's okay. Well, I've been so careful. Uh, for those for, of you who I got it. For those of you who this is your first time watching, I made a joke a couple episodes back. It's many, been a while. Many episodes. Back. Maybe ten episodes back. About a pocket sink, which is a sink you could put in your pocket and you can use it to wash your hands on the go. And we made the pocket sink a thing based, or thank you to the uh, support of everyone who is supporting it. The pocket sink <laughs> is, 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 is a product that I own. So the pocket sink retail store is... In, 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 addition, for sure. <laughs> in addition to whale cheese. Yes, whale cheese is another one of my products. But uh, pocket sink, thank you Haike for reminding me of that. Although it is by far the most profitable, with infinite sales per square foot, it was only only invented in in in, in 2020. Yeah. Right. So so unfortunately, that is incorrect because that is not 2017. But all that that is currently Wait, the highest snap, profit snap, per snap, yes. Snap, 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 so snap, maybe, snap. maybe stop stop snap for high case. Stop stop snap. That's right. Uh, so the correct answer that we were looking for was in fact the Apple Store. Hold on, I sense it. It is near. The pocket, the pocket sink is among us. The pocket sink. Hold on. I smell it. Oh, here it goes. Uh, we're working on the odor. It's very putrid. The pocket there it is. sink. Look, it, it, it can fit in your pocket. Look, it's in my pocket. And I can whip it out. And I can I can wash my hands. I, I can turn a little thing. I can wash my hands on the go. Pocket Can't argue sink. with that. Uh, right, so congratulations, Kay, for addressing the Apple Store. You are correct. The Apple Store, not the Apple Store, the company. The well, the Apple retail stores are the stores that have oh, the okay, highest profit per square foot, with approximately, according to CNBC, five thousand five hundred and forty-six dollars per square foot in, in in profit. That's that's a lot per square foot. That's a lot of dollars. That's per that's foot. a lot of dollars per. My guess, if I hadn't looked this up, would have been the Tiffany Store, which actually ranked fourth. With an average of two thousand nine hundred eighty-one dollars per square foot, per mm -hmm. square feet. Actually, I believe it's two thousand nine hundred fifty-one, but that's just sort of off, right. off the top of my head. That that is what I wrote down. Two thousand nine hundred fifty-one, according to CNBC. But yes, so Apple is the correct answer. Congratulations, K. You get a uh, you get a little pat on the back all the way from over here. Uh, today's squat for tomorrow is yeah. what does a German store called a ha Harschmuck Fachgeschaft sell. Fach say it again, say it again. Harschmuck Fachgeschaft. That's a German store. Say it slowly, say it once slowly. Harschmuck Fachgeschaft. You're trying to make me pronounce it wrong, but in fact, you don't know how to pronounce it. So I have joke's no idea. Joke's I have no idea. <laughs> That's a German store. What does it sell? That's the question. Don't be lame and look it up. But if you want to learn, definitely look it up. And then tell me how many <laughs> clicks it took you to get there. Yes. And then whoever has the fewest number of clicks wins. Those, those are the rules. These are the rules. The rules of the game. And now. One of, our, one of our favorite segments. One of our most favoritest segments. I'm gonna put on my safety, my safety goggles here. We're about to dive deep into the realm of here's, here's of your mug, coach. Oh, yeah. no, hold on, I, I got one with, with hydration in it. Oh yes. Oh, so do I. Hold on. What? What? Hold on, what? So, um... It's time for the hold on to what segment? My favorite segment. Okay, so yeah, so we Ooh. were, you know... The other day, something something piqued my attention. Is that so? That is so. That is so. And, you know, I was I was sitting there. I was I was eating a little bit. Oh, yeah? Um, I was eating... Among nature's greatest creations. Ranch wheat thins. 
and not non unsponsored content. Unsponsored. Yeah, we're 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 not. If you do want to sponsor us, if you do want to sponsor us, go ahead. But this is non sponsored. Right. So there I was. You know. So much water in this mug. It's never I, I was I was eating these. Oh yeah. And I saw. I bet I was eating some too. I, oh yeah. Yeah. What? Just just you know for continuity sake. Ooh, and, I, and I saw right here. You know, it's got a nice picture, and it says. Enlarged to show detail. Detail. Enlarged to show detail. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Because these crackers are bigger than the picture. They were minimized to show the detail. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hold on, what? What? So then, you know, I, be I became skeptical. Skeptical. And I started reading the rest of the package. Oh. There are, there are more words. It said creamy flavor on the back. Rich and creamy flavor. What is a creamy flavor? What does creamy taste like? Things, creamy things can be creamy. Creamy is a texture, not a flavor. I hope. And I was like, Whoa. nonetheless, it tastes like a creamy. Now, I was, so so this really that threw me for a loop, and I was like, <clears throat> now I I I need something to wash this. Wait, down. hang on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, have, I have more to talk oh, about. You have more to I have more noticed to... some things. I noticed some things. So then I was eating some wheat thins, and it says. Uh, where's, oh yeah, it says 100% whole grain. And so I said, okay, if this cracker is really made of 100% whole grains, that means someone took some whole grains, did whatever, formed a cracker, and that's it. But instead, there's this whole list of ingredients of things that are not whole grains. And it grains. says includes four grams of added sugars. Sugar is not whole grain. Doesn't sound like it. What about the ranch? The creamy ranch flavor. Ra ranch is not a grain. Oh, Actually, what, ranch is a seed, though, right? What? No, 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 no. Ranch, it's ranch is a place. Ranch is like I'm thinking of mustard. That's what butter, buttermilk and, and sadness and pepper and. Things. Uh, right. So ranch is not. Well, I know for sure ranch is not a whole grain. Ranch is a seed, and it says 100 percent whole grain. Maybe of, of the grains. May that, first. Stop. Maybe of the grains that they used, 100% of them were whole. Maybe. Even though they were probably mushed up at some point in this process. So, there you go. But, I don't know. So, that's great. So, I was, I was actually, I was also eating them. And then, oh, and, and it says, it says natural flavor with other natural flavor. How many natural flavors are there? Is it grains or what is are it the different? What's the difference? And it says other natural flavor. That's a singular. That's it. That, that, that means that there are two natural flavors involved here. That's it. That means that ranch and wheat are the only flavors. But instead, there's... Refiner's syrup. Salt. Lactose garlic powder. Mm. That's not a natural flavor. That's a powder. <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. Anyway, Go so I was, I was like, okay, this is a lot to take... An empty stomach. I need something to wash this down. So naturally, I reached for the honey. Contains stomach. milk of all things, and <clears throat> this is a solid, not a liquid. Um, I was I was consuming some honey mustard, and again, I looked at the packaging and I was horrified because it said honey mustard made with real honey. Why doesn't it say real mustard? Am I eating fake mustard? What is fake? But at mustard? least the honey's real. At least huh? the honey's real. At least the honey's if real. If the mustard were real, they would also have said have written. Made with real mustard. Let me look at the expiration date. What is fake mustard? Anyway. 10 calories per tablespoon. That implies that the serving size is only one tablespoon. Thank you for joining us. Unreal. On. Hold on. What? Hold on, what? Now, it's time for our next piece of music. That's right. So, thank you again. To everyone who is helping us support Boston Youth Symphony Orchestras by watching these videos, clicking the donate button on the Facebook around the video, and also by sharing these videos, by participating in the fun. You are helping students in the greater Boston area have access to instruments, lessons, coachings, orchestras, awesome peers, performance venues, venues. Um, opportunities, uh, repertoire exposure, all this awesome stuff. Um, couldn't do it without you, so thank you very much. Um, and, and so on that theme, because you know it is the second half of Biso Weeks. That's right. We thought, what a better way to celebrate our experience in the Boston Youth Symphony than to play part of an opera. 
Which we played. Which we played two years we, ago. Two years ago, we played Carmen, which was one of our favorite operas. And so, although we're not an entire orchestra with singers, we are two lonely violinists in a in, one, in a moldy basement. But that's fine. Not moldy. Eh, probably. Anyway. Who knows? Um, so, Carmen, on track. By George Bizet. George. 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 Ah. you've all been waiting for uh, another one of the moments you've all been waiting for the joke time. it's joke time Woo! it's joke time so here at to the beat why did bunnies go on strike what uh wait can you repeat that i didn't hear oh yes why do bunnies why did the bunnies go on strike i wrote why did bunnies but that was it. you can you can add to your why? joke why did the bunnies go on strike? Uh, because they were fed up with the working conditions. I don't know why. Hmm. Because they wanted a raise in celery. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. <laughs> celery. I get it because it's a bunny. <laughs> What's gray? That's it. That's the whole joke. That's what it says. What's gray? I don't know. The sky. A melted penguin. Oh, oh that that's funny. Black and white melts mixes. Mm, eight out of ten. Yeah, you, you, you made the joke. Wow, but you're the one who told it. Why it's, do ducks? A joke is only funny based on the way it's told. It can be written here and it can be just as funny, but instead you gave it. A, you, you were the one who did, delivered it an eight out of ten. Why do ducks have webbed feet? Why do ducks have webbed feet? To swim better, duh. No, to stamp out fires. Follow up. Why do elephants have huge feet? To walk? To stamp out burning ducks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that one. That's a nine. I like that's that a nine out of ten. No, it was like nine and three quarters. Uh, I don't know about that. Seven eighths. The ducks mm. stamp out the fires and start burning, and the elephants stamp out the nine ducks. out of ten. Nine. I'm sticking with mine. Um, and now. No, go ahead. Okay. Well, I, I was, like I, hear, gonna, I like hearing Dacha talk. <laughs> I was gonna announce that you were gonna tell us what the riddle was. Okay. Sam will now tell you what the riddle is. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> our riddle no, was it's, a. It's starting to deteriorate. Usually, it starts deteriorating. I mean, I mean, I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, our riddle was submitted by K, uh, one of our favorite viewers. Definitely mm. was here since what seems like day one. Always so active. Thank you so much, K. Uh, K said. Uh, I can go up a chimney down, but not down a chimney up. What am I? Say it one more time. That was confusing. I can go up a chimney down, but not down a chimney up. What am I? So, if you're watching over Facebook and you think you know the answer, or a witty answer, put your put put uh put whatever you think in the comments down below. If you're watching over Instagram, DM me Salva.Thurbs. Uh, and let me know what you think. We're accepting traditionally correct answers and witty answers. The best witty answer 
gets the prize, and if there are no witty answers, then... We would have to go to the rule book. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll have to, to decide what to do. To consult the official riddle giveaway rule book. So that's the riddle. And you can submit as many answers as you'd like. There's no limit to answers. That being said, don't capita. don't clog the old DMs. No, no clogging. Yes, yes. None of that. Now, uh, we have talked a little bit before on the show about dances. Um, oh yeah. Especially dances in three. Mm-hmm. We got our minuets. So we got our waltzes versus the waltzes. For Waltz, example, plural is why. Debatable, and we've got uh, a special kind of waltz, the Viennese waltz, where you have an early, literally early second beat. And so we've got one of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. One is how it goes precisely over in Vienna, and this is. You want to introduce this one? No, I'll go right ahead. Okay. Now, I, I, I like hearing Gotcha <laughs> stumble through this. This one is called Schöne Rosemary. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oui. Oh, but it's not French. It's German. It's German. Written by the composer and violinist. He knows his stuff. Fritz Chrysler. Um, oh, yeah. Chrysler was part of a very interesting sort of hoax. He was trying to make a name for himself, so... He wrote a lot of compositions, but pretended like he had discovered these, those compositions um, somewhere from very famous composers that had lived before him. So people, you know, paid attention. They were like, wow, this is incredible. We got this new piece from this composer that we already love, but we haven't heard this piece. It's like the composer's releasing new music. Yeah. Um, but as it turns out, he wrote them all. So as soon as people heard them and liked them, because they were good... Then he ended up confessing that he had written them, and, you know, there he was. And made it And people knew him. He um, said, hey, everybody, you like my music? And in fact, it was mine. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Right. The Austria, management Austria, committee says Austrian. 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 So, and violinist. One of the greatest violinists of all time. Period. And here I am playing his music. Ooh. Big shoes to fill. Mr. Chrysler. No pressure. I mean, you all know. Oh, yeah. So not you got it. Oh, that's that's much better. Is Thirty-one it? episodes and we finally did. <laughs> <Yeah. Wow, it's time for the safest part of the show. The safety PSA! Indeed. The safety PSA. The safety PSA. So we talked about... Also known as SPSA. We talked about physical safety, mental safety, sunglass safety, Mm -hmm. 
Glove. Glove safety. safety. Mask safety. Mask. So much safety to talk about. What should today's safety be? Um, we're going to talk today about hydration. Hydrate. Hydrate or dihydrate, as they say. Tell us a little bit about that. Let, let's dissect that phrase. What does hydrate mean? Well, you know, in, in the sense we're concerned with, it means to drink water. Like this. Wow. It's recommended that you drink Technique. a lot of water every day. So many liters of water. A lot of websites say a certain amount of water, but I say a certain amount plus a little bit because you want to be safe. You can never drink too much water. Well, maybe. Yeah, you yes, always want to. If you're wanting, yes, you if you're bored, you're wondering what to do. Drink water. Drink water. Not too much. Drink water Just before enough. you eat. Drink water before you go to bed. If you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated, which is not what you want to do. That's correct. And it's very important. It can help keep uh, you alive. Exactly. But it can also, Essentially. It can also in essence, <laughs> support uh, immune function, which is especially important these days. Um, oh, yeah? Is yeah. It? yeah. This is, this is so. Drink lots of water. And now, speaking of water. How and long do you wash us? it? And, and, and the pocket sink Ooh. that you can use to wash your hands. We've been foreshadowing this segment all episode. Ooh. And now it's finally coming to theaters, live streams near you. Exactly. Probably just a couple inches from your face. Mm. Well, wait, 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 wait. We, we forgot the most important part. This oh. is the length of an appropriate hand wash. 20 seconds. One round of this song. Swingle. Thank you for joining us today on Two to Beat. Thank you. Uh, if you're watching over Instagram, remember DM me if you know the riddle. Answer the riddle. If you're watching over Facebook, comment down below. If you missed a couple of episodes in the past, check out our YouTube channel at Extra Thurbers. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Two to Beat over Instagram and over Facebook in 23 hours and 32 minutes. We'll see you then.